Hi guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope every one of you is doing good. So today we are going to discuss about Fibonacci extensions. Okay, but before that, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also make sure to press the bell icon so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same. Also, by the end of this video, you will be seeing many other details about HYIT. Please do have a look as it might be helpful to you in some way or the other. Details like my Telegram channel, both the free and the premium ones details about my training programs etc etc okay so back to the topic fibonacci extension which are also known as fibonacci projections okay so what exactly are these so basically this is one of the tools that is used for technical analysis okay and to be very specific the usage of Fibonacci extension is done when we want to know till what point can a stock go up or till what point can a stock move down okay so depending on that we can decide our targets okay a very small and uh, sorry a very simple tool to use yet very very powerful okay and do note that you can use fibonacci extension in both the directions of course if the stock is in an uptrend then you can use fibonacci extension to know till what point can it go up and if the stock is moving down then also you can use fibonacci extension to know till what point can the stock fall okay so let me let me take you to the charts okay and explain it there so that the things become more clear okay so this is the one day chart of ongc okay on the top left corner you can see here that it, it is a one day chart and there is a very uh, um, there is a very solid reason of taking uh, ongc as an example i was doing some research i was doing some findings and i think ongc was a very good example to show the reason will be told uh, in a while okay so when you see ongc chart what comes to your mind okay the first thing comes uh, that comes into your mind uh, is ongc was in a downtrend and it took a support at this point and right now it is in an uptrend now what is the easiest way to tell whether a stock is in a downtrend or whether the stock is in an uptrend i believe you all are aware about that particular uh, method if not let me quickly go ahead go ahead and explain it to you guys okay so stock either it can move like this or it can move like this okay so when the stock moves like this we say that the stock is in an uptrend why because it is making higher highs and higher lows okay this is a higher high higher low higher high higher low similarly if the stock is making lower highs and lower lows this is a lower high lower high lower low lower low so if the stock is making lower highs and lower lows we say that the stock is in in a downtrend okay this is the simplest way of knowing whether the stock is in an uptrend or a downtrend okay now back to the candlesticks now it was in a downtrend and it took support somewhere here at this point and it started moving up okay now if you are or I would say if you know a very little about price action about reading the naked candlestick chart then in a blink you can say that ONGC took our ONGC reversed from this direction because it had made a double bottom here okay now just because it made a double bottom does not mean that all the stock will go up again okay it's, it is one of the important reasons why ongc again started retracing back and from downtrend it started an uptrend okay double bottom is one of the reasons there are many other reasons okay uh, when you are actually into trading you just cannot depend on the fact that it made a double bottom that is why i should go long in this uh, in this particular stock okay there are many other things which needs to be look uh, which needs to be look to decide or to be sure that okay ongc right now has reversed from a downtrend to an uptrend okay but in terms of price action in term uh, in terms of uh, naked chart reading and to make things simple to keep things simple we in this chart will consider 
the reason as a double bottom because of which ONGC started an uptrend. Okay, so right now ONGC is in, in an uptrend. Okay, now higher high here, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, and higher high. Okay, now listen to this very carefully now. Okay, so right now we saw that ONGC is in an uptrend because it is making high highs and high lows. Okay, now let's suppose after making this higher high, the latest higher high, let's suppose that ONGC came till this point and again started moving up. So at this point, we can again say that ONGC has made a higher low and it is moving up. But in this case, did ONGC made a higher low? The answer is no. It actually breached the previous higher low and it started falling. Now, since it has started falling, can we say right now that ONGC is in a downtrend? The answer is, of course, a no. Why? Because ONGC has not started making a lower high or a lower low. It is just a retracement. Okay. Now, how do we know that it is just a retracement? Why am I saying that? Again, in order to find this, you can make use of Fibonacci retracement. Okay. If you have not watched the video on Fibonacci retracement, please go ahead and watch it. It's in my YouTube channel. Okay. And also I will put the uh, link to that particular video in the description, uh, description section so that it becomes easy for you. Okay. Now, Fibonacci retracement, why do we use it? We use Fibonacci retracement to know till what point can a stock move down. Okay, if the stock is in an uptrend, like the way ONGC is right now, and if it starts moving down, that does not mean that a downtrend has started. Okay, it can also mean that it is just a simple retracement. In order to confirm that particular retracement, till what time or till what point can, will that retracement continue, we make the use of Fibonacci retracement. Okay, so uh, let's take off the drawings here and let's draw the Fibonacci retracement first. Okay, so we need to know or uh, in other words, I need to explain to people why am I saying that ONGC has not started uh, or ONGC is still in an uptrend. It is not in a downtrend. Okay, so in order to draw the Fibonacci retracement, you need to take a major swing low. Okay, so this is a swing low, but it is not a major one because the retracement was not that deep. Okay, so take a retracement which is a deeper one. So this was a deep retracement. Okay, so how do we draw the Fibonacci retracement? From the low of the swing till the recent high. That is here. That's it. Two clicks. One click here, one click here. You draw the Fibonacci retracement. So clearly, you see that ONGC is taking a support at the 78.6%. Okay. Why? Because it has formed a green candle. Okay. As of now, we don't have any candles post to 22nd November 2019. Okay, so we have to consider this as a bullish sign because this particular green candle is formed just above a support level. What is the support level? The 78.6% is the support level. Okay, that is the reason why I see ONGC moving up again. Okay, so ONGC is anyways in an uptrend. Okay, and it has given a big retracement. So we draw the Fibonacci retracement to know till what point ONGC can actually come down. And we, right now we know till wh what it can come down. Okay. And that, and in that exact point, we are also getting a bullish sign. That is a very solid green candle here. Okay. Now we need to know that if I am making an entry here in ONGC, okay, if I am initiating a trade here or even if I have initiated a trade here, 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 anywhere, okay, whether I should stay back in the trade or is it time for me to exit the trade, okay? So in order to decide that, you need to draw the Fibonacci extension, okay? Again, in order to draw the Fibonacci extension, you take the deeper swing low that is here and the highest 
a point here the latest swing high and the third point would be the point till which it had retraced okay so in fibonacci retracement we take two points and in fibonacci extension we take three points okay so let me draw it and show it to you first point second point third point as simple as that so right now what we see here is that ongc can go till this point okay the first line that is 38.2 percent and the price will be somewhere around 140.45 okay so uh, right now since ongc is taking a support here which we came to know from fibonacci retracement okay and then we draw fibonacci extension so we can expect ongc to go till this line and if it breaches this line and closes above this line then your next target will be 143.50 again if that line is breached then your third target will be 146.50 if that is breached your fourth target will be 150.80 this is how you know that till what point a particular stock can go up after it has retraced hope that is clear so this is an example when the stock is moving up when the stock is in a uptrend okay now let's have a quick look on an example where the stock was in a downtrend okay i have marked it actually and it is uh, ongc itself this moment let me get there where did it go let me make it a bit smaller okay i'm not able to find it anyways but still uh if you see this particular example okay if you see here okay from here it has started a downtrend right so this is the lower high somewhere here lower low again lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low and it continues okay so this tells you that ongc is in a downtrend because it is making low highs and lower lows okay now here in this case how you use a fibonacci extension is just a moment sorry about that let me expand it a bit let me make the candlesticks more bigger okay and you take the uh, major swing high so this would be a major swing high so it came down and it retraced up it was a gap up opening here so you might be interested at this point as to you know till what point ongc can move down okay so you take the help of fibonacci extension first point second point third point okay so first target is your first line if i make it a bit more clearer okay so first point is your first line second line is your uh, sorry first line is your first target second line is the second target third fourth target okay so when you are when the stock is in a downtrend okay you draw the fibonacci extension from the recent swing high to the low and then till the point till which it retraced back okay so this is how you draw a fibonacci extension in both an uptrending market and in a downtrending market as well okay so i hope uh, that is clear i hope uh, right now you are uh, very much aware as to where to use fibonacci extension why to use fibonacci extension and how to draw fibonacci extension and read the data and decide on the target points okay so i hope uh, this was helpful to you all guys and regarding the time frame in which it works best are the high higher time frames the time frames like the one day chart the one week chart or the one month chart and stuff like that okay it can also be used in the lower time frames but that would require a lot of 
a lot more research from your end to know how exactly to use it okay and in which low time frame it actually works and stuff like that okay i cannot expose everything here on youtube so i would leave it on you as to how you do your research okay but anyways uh, for now just know that it works really well in the higher time frames okay so i believe it's time for you to hit the charts and start cross checking the things that we have discussed in this video okay so that's it uh, guys and as always we request you to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also please do not miss the ending of this video as you will get to know uh, many more uh, details about hyit that might be helpful to you and please feel free to ask your questions or queries if any in the comments section and i will surely answer back to you okay and also please do not forget to like the video if you liked it thank you so much guys thank you so much for all your time and patience so that's all from my end and i will see you all later hope you all will stick back happy trading bye bye